So today is National Rare Disease Day, and as the time we we're recording this, I'm in the hospital, and I have my own rare disease called eosinophilic colitis. And we have Dr. Nunez Pin with us, who is a GI doctor, and she can help us understand what rare diseases are. So, do you have a lot of patients that have rare diseases that you treat? We definitely have. We definitely have quite a few, especially here at, at our hospital at Nicholas Children's in GI. We don't probably have as many as they do in some other specialties, like genetics. Of course, they tend to see a lot more rare diseases, but um, but. You know, classically, we have things like eosinophilic enteritis. We have chronic intestinal pseudo obstruction, which also is a rare disease. Some of our liver diseases would be classified as rare diseases. So, for sure, we definitely take care of, unfortunately, lots of patients who who come across in those categories. What does it mean to be classified as a rare disease? So, if it's a rare disease, then, for example, in eosinophilic um, enteritis, for example, it's one in a hundred thousand people who technically have this disease. So it's something that's not considered common, right? So it's something that you you have less of in the population. But a technical number, the quantity that makes it that, the, I don't know the exact answer. Since rare diseases can be so rare, how do you identify them when you first find them? Hmm. You find a good doctor who's willing to keep on looking until they find an answer. And you know, depending on the rare disease that we're talking about, obviously it depends on what the symptoms are of the child or adult when they come into the hospital. But there, these diseases are a whole spectrum, ranging not, obviously not just from gastrointestinal problems, but neurological, renal, uh, brain, etc. So depending on how the, the person presents is how we decide where we're going to look. So for example, in somebody who has eosinophilic colitis, most of the times it's identified on an endoscopy and colonoscopy. So when biopsies are taken and they're looked at under a microscope, they look for the number of eosinophils that are in the tissue. And if they see that there are more than 20, then that's classified as eosinophilic. Since rare diseases are so uncommon and unheard of, we need more people speaking about out about them and giving the world more knowledge. So thank you, Dr. Nunez. My pleasure. Thank you, Kayla. And I hope we can help to spread the word. Thank you.